welcome to Pitch Brand Talk, where insights meet innovation in the world of brands. Today, we're thrilled to host Mr. Ashish Nayal, the Chief Marketing Officer and Head of Customer Value Management, Kotak Mahindra Life Insurance. Hi, Ashish. Welcome. Hi, Ritika. It's a pleasure being here. Same Very here. It's a pleasure. Very everyone on the call. So you've recently had a collaboration with RCB, the Royal Challengers Bangalore for IPL. And uh, that's an exciting collaboration. So congratulations on that. But also please tell us what are the key insights behind this partnership and how are you planning to leverage it? Uh, surely. Uh, I think, uh, Ritika, as we all know, uh, being an Indian, uh, two things attract Indians most. One is obviously sports and within sports, cricket. And the other thing is obviously entertainment and within entertainment movies, right? Uh, and what uh, cricket has been doing a lot lately is entertaining. And IPL is the biggest example of that. In fact, uh, it's become one of the biggest events in the country, right? I won't even call it the sporting event. It is one of the biggest events in the country where everybody comes together and for the 60 days that IPL is on, the only discussion every morning that you uh, have uh, possibly in office, at your workplace, or even at home sometimes is how was the previous day's match and certain highlights of that. So it is that top of mind and it's in everybody's life. It's part of our culture now. Uh, so I think uh, being part of such an iconic event uh, is something that as a brand at Kotak Life, we find extremely valuable. Uh, there are two or three key reasons uh, for our association with IPL and RCB. I, uh, IPL because of the kind of reach it helps us. Yes. And within the reach, it is the varied kinds of audiences that we can reach out to. If you see life insurance also as a product, it has to a wide set of audience from somebody who's just entered the workplace to a person who is on the verge of retiring or retired. IPL appeals to each and every person. Right. And that is what, uh, you know, this association is really doing uh, for us. It helps us reach a wide range of audiences uh, and different. And it's a deep reach. It's a lot of reach that we get uh, through IPL. So that is why IPL. Uh, why RCB? I think it comes with a unique combination of various things. Uh, there are while all teams are good and they have their merits. Uh, there are certain teams who have been around since the beginning and also they have a very strong and loyal fan base and following. Oh. And there are three or four top teams and one of them is RCB. They have a very, very loyal base. They have a very strong following and the people are really passionate about the brand. And they have a very strong reach on digital, uh, which is the medium for today. Right. And so that becomes a natural, uh, uh, you know, uh, point for us to associate uh, with RCB. The second is RCB is uh, is a team from the south. South is an important market for us. Karnataka is an important market for us as a business, so it, it fits in there. And with RCB, obviously, you get access to one of the biggest sporting icons of the country. Uh, so while it's a team that uh, is Bangalore, but if uh, the sporting icon plays then it appeals to the entire nation. And what okay. he says or does is something that cuts across all ages and all geographies. So I think uh, all of this and uh, a feather on the cap was also the women's RCB team winning, lifting the cup in the women's IPL. I think that was yeah. uh, an icing on the cake. So these are some of the factors and considerations that we had when we were really uh, choosing on whom we want to associate and which event we want to associate. Right. And uh, you've taken a different route as well this time, right? You've not gone for the conventional campaign where you've done content pieces around the collaboration. So if you can please talk about that as well. Yes. So uh, as you know, in today's day and age, um, digital first has been the approach for most brands. Also, the way you would attract audiences is obviously you talk to audiences at large, but you also talk in segmented ways. Also, there are multiple messages. See, one message may be relevant to a type of audience. A second message could be relevant to a B type of audience. Uh, so it, it's very important to create uh, messages that are relevant and stick with the audience. And that right. is why you want to possibly, you know, use digital as a platform largely. And that's why content becomes the route more than the traditional yeah. campaign uh, kind of route. Yeah. Also, what this allows is for while you give the relatable and the rational messages around the brand, around the product, around the services, uh, content also allows you 
to make content that creates engagement that creates brand love yeah, so yeah. that is how we have uh, kept our entire spectrum of content on one end we are talking about our key categories our product our services and we are creating content with player images etc around that and on the other end we are also creating content with the players that appeal at a larger level to the fans that talk to the fans directly so yeah. we recently uh, launched a video with an anthem uh, for rcb where we've called out the players and what havoc they can create on the field and for the opposition and that has garnered a lot of love uh, on insta and fbs platforms i mean we've got a lot of likes and shares and reposts as they call it uh, on these platforms so uh, that is something that uh, is something that is very very you know important for us so content pieces will be created and as you know the association doesn't end with the ipl it goes on till uh, uh, december and that gives us an opportunity to create various pieces of content uh, depending on uh, whatever is our business uh, strategy or agenda right and uh, how would you say you know collaborations like these like either if it is with rcb for the ipl or sports collaboration in general uh, you know how does it fit the larger brand and marketing strategy for kota yeah so uh, sports by itself as i said is something that allows for a big reach and allows us to reach out of, uh, to a wider set of audiences so definitely that plays in uh cricket why is because uh, if you see cricket and you see life insurance no there are very similar and parallel tracks uh what is the core of life insurance right the core of life insurance is protection right it is about term it's about protection if something goes wrong the money is paid out to take care of the family right so that is protection what is the first thing when you talk about cricket when you go out to bat when there is a wicket keeper they talk they say you wear your guard right you protect yourself right then you can go and express yourself freely right so it becomes very very relevant in terms of messaging in what is important in life right the second thing is about planning every team has to come up with a plan they have to look at the run rate they have to look at the over which bowler will bowl when which batsman will go out when it requires a lot of planning to reach uh, to make a win to reach your goal that is again another core for life insurance right you have to plan right you have to invest in the right plans and that is how you can reach your goal so that's another parallel track the third thing is if you see their players are on field but there is an entire battery of coaching staff to make that happen Right. right there is the coach as a bowler's coach as a batting coach as a fielding coach there's the entire the doctor and the physio and all of them to keep the players fit there's a dietitian so yes. it's the so it's a teamwork it is if you have the right partner by your side or the right partners by your side that is how you can go and achieve what you want to achieve and that's where you know the whole essence of choosing the right partner uh, like choosing the right uh life insurance partner etc is something that we can play up so there are various relevant messages uh that we can give when it comes to cricket and life insurance and that is how it fits into a lot of uh you know our strategies and more importantly as you know life insurance is not a high involvement category okay yeah. and when you give messages around product service etc in the context of with the context of cricket it becomes very palatable and relatable so that yeah. way you even cut that resistance that is there so that is how this thing fits into the overall scheme right. of things for us right so you you start talking about the category in general also i'm sure there are so many challenges and opportunities both for the life insurance sector in india so how you sort of you know leveraging them or addressing them how, what are your strategies there because it's a low involvement category there are various challenges awareness is low the minute involvement is low then you don't want to know more so awareness is low all of this leads to low penetration right and when there is low awareness people find it complex and people want to stay away then the penetration of life insurance as you know is a challenge within the country right, right. uh but if you see uh to address this challenge while a company can do its best it is also done it is also being done at various levels Yes. first of all the government of india had launched various schemes a few years back pmjjvy yeah. uh, ayushman bharat etc you know to get more to make it more inclusive uh, irdi our regulator has a vision of insurance for all by 2047 and they have launched a lot of schemes like bima sugam uh, bima bahat bima vistar uh, etc uh, you know which is trying to help insurance penetration they've also allocated cities and towns to each of the insurers both general and life that they need to do a lot of work uh, 
the life council has got together all the life insurance players and uh, we have also you know a couple of years back launched a campaign called sabse pehle life insurance where we are trying to create awareness of life insurance and trying to bring out the need and importance so a lot of these initiatives are being done both at company levels and at the industry and government level in addition to that as a company as i said uh, we have these various states that have been given to us we do a lot of awareness work in terms of camps in terms of leaflet distribution in terms of getting people together and explaining the importance using social media to give out mess- messages we also have a lot of content that we create with influencers uh, that you know ha- try and tell people why it is important what is important how you should buy what are the things you need to keep in mind while buying certain cl- complex terminologies uh, we try and simplify we also have taken various life insurance terminologies and we're trying to simplify them for the audiences and also overall we are trying to make our propositions and our communications using mediums like cricket etc more interesting and more involving so that people are at least open and receptive to the message sure right so, so these are the various things being done right right and if we look at the insurance sector in general also as compared to say 10 years ago today there are so many players right there are traditional players and so many new players that have come into the market so it's a crowded space how do you sort of differentiate yourself in a crowded market as such from competitors quota life there is one thing that the entire leadership and the senior management and leadership are signed off on and we call it customer obsession uh, i think that is one area which if you remain there and you start there and you evolve over there you will be able to create the differentiation so we invest a lot of time in customer understanding so we have the traditional ways of research where you have the quality the quantity we also try and do culture studies we try and do semiotic studies to understand nuances within uh, each consumer segment we are also leveraging data in many ways and we've done various studies uh, and we've uh, also got some of our partners to do some data segmentation on our basis uh, on our customer base to understand the different cohorts that live within our company and whom we are selling to so that that will help us make segmented journeys for them segmented communication personalized communication on this then we overlay technology various technology that is available to deliver what we need to deliver for us the biggest thing is customer experience and we are holding that if the answer to this is customer obsession leading to a positive customer experience right everything falls within that whether it is the pre purchase whether it is the purchase whether it is the post purchase or it is the claims we are trying to create a unified unique customer experience by understanding various facets of customer so that we can deliver what is required for each customer segment so customer right. experience is something that we are holding very very well, and we think that is going to be the differentiator for us uh, in this space yeah yeah uh, while ashish you've already spoken about how sports and cricket in general is like very uh, a, a very uh, organic synergy for you as a brand but uh, uh, i mean in the past i have observed that sports associations have increased particularly for insurance brands bfsi brands so in that in that sense how is this partnership sort of unique for uh, kotak mahindra like see i'll tell you there are two or three ways it is it becomes what you're saying is true is if your association doesn't align with your business strategy right uh, the minute it aligns with your business strategy i don't think so this will really be a challenge right so there are uh, two or three things uh, some of it is what i've already told you but i will repeat it in in this context the first thing is protection right protection is a key strategy for us as a company cricket and protection uh, protection is core to cricket this allows us for a natural linkage and helps us deliver that message in a beautiful way the second thing is obviously south is an important market for yes, us so the association yeah. with uh, with rcb definitely helps leverage that yeah. in that we also get a national icon who is also an inspiration for many and his values really match the values of the brand one is that of a family man yeah. insurance is largely 
you know, family led. You do it for your near Indians, for your spouse, for your children. So I think over there it becomes very, very relevant. He also brings in the whole essence of the right planning, the right working, hard work, keeping at it, so that you reach your goal. These are again values that we try and talk to our customer from a persistency point of view. You keep paying your premiums, you keep doing this so that you can reach your goal. So a lot of these messages and the values that we see from the cricketer, from the sport itself, to Together, come together to give us this unique edge of how we can use this association to, you know, uh, really get the maximum out of it. Also, an association like this, because as part of the association, you get a lot of merchandise, you get a lot of tickets. And today, if you see, uh, even while in the customer, you have to be top of mind. Insurance is also sold through a lot of distributors and partners. You also need to be top of mind over there for them to you know know about it. Such occasions also help us create a top of mind in that fraternity, uh-huh. and that itself also you know aligns very strongly with our business yes. strategy, right? So when you associate with a team like RCB with an event like IPL, people are excited. People know that Kotak yeah. like that. It gives them a feeling of pride. It gives them a talkability. Your brand is spoken about yeah. in five ways. That creates a top of mind. So in I any partner shop where the biggest challenge is to get top of mind of that partner so that you know they can uh, talk about your product to the customers yeah. this becomes a very important aspect yes that makes sense and uh, apart from ipl any other sports associations or partnerships that you're considering maybe for in the future for brand visibility and engagement see in fact it is open we are looking at a lot of associations not only sports it could be movie it could be certain uh, fiction shows non fiction shows etc but for us as i said if we have a strategic direction and an agenda to fulfill only then will we do the association so if i have to say something around protection and one of these things that i've said really talks about protection in a unique way then i will yeah. do an association with them and i'll bring out so it is not association just for an association it is an association that's tied very closely to something that we want to drive as business and something that then then we think will then it's a good way to take it to the customer so we are open for all our associations in that sense but it has to strongly tie into whatever the business strategy or agenda is that we were driving for that year or for that yeah. year Yeah. yeah so it is not it's not a compulsory thing that we need to do just for an association point of view only if it aligns with your yeah. business so yeah so it's not about getting a logo presence it's about doing much more right right and any notable trends that you are observing in the life insurance sector that uh, you want to talk about and how you plan to sort of leverage them sure uh, i think the life insurance sector by itself i think there are three or four very notable trends right one trend is around tech which is around ai ml etc and that is something that is cutting across all facets whether it is coming from research because data becomes the first point there you can use a lot of ai and ml to give you you know various customer segments etc various models that you can run to understand you know various customer segments nuances nuances of customer segments okay. then when it comes to delivery and communication and marketing i think a lot of AI gen- generative AI is used over yes. there. We've also used some of it in our RCB uh, association uh, uh, that we've done now. In addition to that, even at the underwriting level, at the claims level, for faster processing, for fraud detection, so that things can happen faster and we can give it all of that. They have a lot of this tech AI and ML that is being involved. That is number one. Number two, something that we discussed some time back, it is a low involvement category. So we want to increase the involvement. so there is this whole concept of value added services right. so along with a life insurance that you buy what are the other things that are important for you to living well hmm. that the insurance company can provide to help you live a wholesome life so a lot of services have coming in that direction and in fact we are happy to say that we have launched an app called happy you uh, somewhere in the mid of last year which takes care of physical health mental health etc and it's got a lot of things within it that from step uh, step counts to uh, you know seeing how well you sleep how much family time are you having uh, also various offers if you have to buy medicines etc checking your heart rate etc so various things for an overall wellness holistic so, wellness holistic wellness so that is increasingly becoming more and more popular i think more and more uh, companies will Uh, this i think the next thing is product innovation i think yeah. products have been made and then they've been sold but uh, now more and more companies are getting smarter they're starting to make 
products for various segments. For example, there's a growing gig worker kind of segment. Sooner or later, you will have to address the companies are thinking on those lines. Some uh, uh, companies are thinking at segments like working women or women overall. What are the kind of uh, uh, you know plans that you could sell? The retirement population. Yeah. If, if our country is going to increase substantially. So a lot of thinking is going into what kind of retirement products, what are the life stage needs over there, and hence what are the kind of products can be given to, you know, uh, you know, uh, facilitate people in that stage of life. Uh, and I think there's one more last trend I see that today, uh, because there is only a certain pool of customers, right? Forget life insurance, forget general insurance. E every sector is after that set of customers, yeah. FMCG, consumer durables, you can take every sector. So at the end of the day, customer acquisition becomes more and more tricky, difficult and others. So companies today, the other trend that you will see across insurance and life insurance is organically acquiring consumers, which is mean you do a partnership with various banks, with various brokers, yeah. etc. And then you get access to their base and together then you service the customer. So a lot of that is also uh, there in the life insurance sector, which is getting more. So these are the three or four larger trends uh, beyond marketing, really, which is largely for the industry uh, that we see and that will continue to grow in the times to come. Right, right. Anything else that you'd like to add? No, I think uh, it was fantastic talking. I think we've covered quite a bit at Kotak Life. We believe in doing meaningful work and work that really creates an impact for business and also is loved by and loved and relatable uh, for the consumer. So uh, we will be on that path and you will hopefully see a lot more interesting work coming your way from Kotak Life. Yeah, even I'm excited to hear what's next from Kotak. So thank you so much, Ashish. It was a pleasure talking to you, speaking to you today. Absolutely. Great insight, Shed. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.